The average person poops one time and pees six to eight times in a day. This is an average, so there are days when we pee more and days when we pee less. But let's assume for the sake of math that everyone is utterly average and poops one time and pees seven times in a day. This would mean that one eighth of the times someone goes to the bathroom, it's to poop, and seven eighths of the times someone goes to the bathroom, it's to pee. I'm also going to assume that the population is perfectly split 50-50 between males and females. And that males all pee standing up and poop sitting down, and that all females pee and poop sitting down. This means that after you're done with the bathroom, the next person to use the toilet has an equal chance of being male and female. If the next person to use the toilet is male, then he has a 12% chance of needing the seat to be down, and an 87.5% chance of needing it to be up. If the next person needs a toilet is a female, then she has a 100% chance of needing the seat to be down. Calculating this out for the next person needs a toilet, we can see that f of toilet seat up is 50% male times 87.5% p plus 50% female times 0% p and poop, which is equal to 43.75%. And f of toilet seat down is 50% male times 12.5% poop plus 50% female times 100% pee and poop, which is equal to 56.25%. In English, this means that assuming that the world is perfectly average, the next person who uses a unisex toilet after you has a 56.25% chance of needing the seat to be down, and only a 43.75% chance of needing it to be up.